Good morning. Hello, everybody. It's Super Bowl Sunday. Who cares? Who doesn't care? Uh, welcome to the heart of Longmont. My name is Trisha Groffelman. I'm the mission and ministry coordinator here, and I am so glad that you have um, joined us today. The sun comes up. It's a new day dawning. It's time to sing your song again. I've got one response. I've got just one move. With my arms stretched wide. One of the really great things about having a faith in a God is that sometimes if we ask God to help us, God's probably not going to help you clean your room, but God can help you clean a little bit inside of your heart, inside of your mind, inside of your soul if you just ask. Say, God, please help me. I feel a little scattered, right? Awake, ye drunkards, and weep, and howl, all ye drinkers of wine, because of the new wine, for it is cut off from your mouth. For a nation has come upon my land, strong and without number, whose teeth are the teeth of a lion, and he hath the cheek teeth of a great lion. Therefore also now, saith the Lord, turn ye even to me with all of your heart, and with fasting, and with weeping, and with mourning. And rend, and rend your heart, and not your garments, and turn unto the Lord your God. For he is grac gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and of great kindness, and repenteth him of the evil. And it shall come to pass afterward, that I will pour out my spirit unto all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, your old men shall dream dreams, and your young men shall, she shall see visions. And also upon the servants and upon the handmaids in those days will I pour out my spirit. But we are starting Lent, and I love the season of Lent. It's one of those seasons where we're invited to go inward. I, I think of it often as a spring cleaning, a spiritual clean, cleansing of sorts. And I hope in your own way that you will find ways to practice this season. Just as the prophet Joel says, things feel bad. So what do we do about it? As people of faith, Joel tells us, return to God. So the second question is how to do that. Notice this is where the part of the, the prophet Joel unfolds and says, return to God with all your heart, with fasting, with weeping, with mourning. Rend your heart, not your clothes. The word rend, listen to this, the word rend is to tear open. So tear open your heart, Joel says. See, when things are bad, God is good. Turn to the Lord, Joel says. Turn to the way of graciousness and mercy and compassion and loyal love. Be slow to anger. This is who you are. This is who you and I were created to be. When you turn toward oppression and greed and gluttony and self-indulgence and violence, it always turns out in pain and suffering for all of humanity. Return to the Lord because God is good. Joel says when you turn to the Lord, God's spirit flows. And I believe that is what will restore the world. So return to the Lord when our hearts line up with God's heart, the spirit of God's love, justice, and mercy flows into the world. So what about us today? Well, things are bad. We have our own swarm of locusts destroying things around us. And it's easy to become overwhelmed by these things. Lent is a season where we are invited to take stock of our lives, to rend 
open our hearts and be honest and turn back to God. So the message is clear. Change your life, not just your clothes. Come back to God. Tear open your heart. Clean out that junk and go and be light and love in our world. Amen.